Christmas guy. So for today's video, I really thought I'd start off with a bang, with a big cacao, with a big Christmas, Christmas spirit. So we're gonna make some Chrissy cookies. What else is better than cookies at Christmas time? So that's what we're gonna be doing for this video. Really gonna get in the Christmas spirit on my channel today and you know, if you know me, you know that I love cookies. Like cookies, chocolate chip cookies, they're my life. Yeah, so I thought I can't just make normal chocolate chip cookies. That's not festive enough. So today we're going to be doing not just a regular choc chip, choc chip cookie. We're going to be doing a chocolate chip Christmas cookie that's going to be really fun. All the family can do it with you. you can just be a really great activity. Anywho, let's just get into this. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this Santa fit, well, Christmas in my household, my dad dresses up as Santa pretty much, and then he wears this outfit, so I was like, if I'm making cookies, we're going to make this interesting, we're going to make this the best Christmas video you've ever seen. So I'm just going to put on some Christmas carols to get us in the mood, get us vibing. We're going to need a bowl. A bowl's the biggest step of this recipe so far. Then we're going to preheat our oven. Degrees. That sounds like a lot of a degree. <laughs> so preheat your oven to about 180 fan forced, but whatever you think works with your oven. We're gonna grab some butter, pop your butter in, and then put it in the microwave. There's enough music for now. Brown sugar and granulated sugar. I don't know what granulated sugar is, but that's it. So, I've got my melted butter. You guys don't actually really care, and you're probably not going to follow this tutorial. So, I'm just going to put everything in. A quarter of a cup of granulated sugar, and I'm pretty sure this cast sugar's fine, whatever, I don't really care. Ahem! <coughs> granulated sugar, sometimes known as refined table or white sugar, is beet or cane sugar which has been processed. Ah! Story time. Today, I was in Woolworths. You know, such crazy Christmas stories. It was just a typical day in Woolworths. Anyway. So yeah, I was in Woolworths with my dad. By the time I got home, it was two. So I was like, we spent two hours in Woolworths. I didn't know that was possible. But trust me, it is. I was walking around, you know, grabbing all this chocolate and fun stuff. She's ready. But I swear, there's an easier way to be doing this. And that's when it all went south. Now, we're not exactly exact with this, but my grammar is just so freaking good today. And then you're supposed to mix it. Now, you're meant to beat it, but I'm not gonna beat it. And that's... The tea. Oh! Anyway, back to my story at Woolies. You know, you're really interested in that. It took forever because we're getting all these Christmas recipes for, you know, Christmas. I look around, like I just went to another aisle, and then I went looked around and I couldn't find Dad. And I was like, where's my Dad? And I couldn't, you know, I can't drive, so I couldn't get home. I was kind of stranded there, and it was a bit depressing. I looked around, walked around, no joke, walked around back and forth, you know, that's me, yeah, back and forth, all around Woolies for I think it was a solid, it felt like half an hour, it felt like a long time, it felt like my, it felt like my life. I couldn't find him anywhere and he had my phone, so this was the big issue because I couldn't call him, you know, to get some help and that was really fun. So then I went to this Woolworths guy and I was like, oh. um, hi, excuse me, do you have a phone I could borrow? And he just kind of looked at me and he was like, no, no, no. Why? And I was like, oh, sorry. You know, I just can't find my dad. And I just look like the biggest, like, man, biggest laser. So that was great. And then I had to call off this weird, like, it was like some sort of, I'll enter like an image here. It was like some sort of, like, Samsung, not a Samsung. It was like those Nokia's, like the first ever phone created. They had like a dial, type in the numbers, like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just walk to the car. And then I call him and he goes, let me see then I had to walk, you know, really embarrassed, going, oh, sorry, he's just in the shopping centre, I'll go look for him again. And I already looked everywhere. To finish this story time, the whole end result, it turns out that he was in the shopping centre the whole bloody time. That really made my day. It's getting a bit heated up in this kitchen. The oven's preheated, you know, we're getting a little bit spice. Are you not kidding? What the hell? Let me just show you up. I thought I was cracking a normal egg into this bowl. You know, if you see an egg sitting over there, you think, oh, it's just gonna be a typical egg. No, it's a boiled egg sitting over there. Legit, a boiled egg just sitting there. Who boils an egg and leaves it sitting there? My family. I'm gonna go get another egg. 
Now we've got an egg, so that's really fun. Continuing on, two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Um, this is the current setup. Um, that just happened, so that's really great. I'm feeling confident, feeling like a little bit of a failure, but that's okay. I'm gonna clean it up at the end. I'll grab your vanilla essence. Keep mixing. Then we're gonna, we're nearly done, guys. We're nearly done. Not really. So, really mix it. I might start up a little baking section on this channel. I don't know. What is this is all? To the consistency, consistency, you really want it. We're gonna add in the flour. It says all purpose flour. I'm just gonna use plain flour because I'm pretty sure that's what it is, and like, I'm a lazy ass girl, so that's about all. And the baking soda, one teaspoon. Mm. Got the baking soda. And then a little pinch of salt. We're gonna start mixing. So I might give you. Why is this going so bad? So this is the current substance. It's really hard to mix with one hand, but just continue to mix it until it's really nice and pate. I freaking love Christmas though. Need it with my phalanges. It's really like crumbly at the moment. I don't know if I, I might add some water. It's smelling really nice. And also guys, I just want to say thank you for 200 plus. I am proud. Thank you so much for like actually like watching me. While we're like, you know, halfway through this recipe, I just thought if you're new here, welcome. And I should probably say that early in the video. Maybe I'll give you a cookie by the end of this video. I don't know. And also, if you have any like video requests that you want me to do, just leave it below. Why is it so crumbly? I'm gonna add some water. I should not have added water, that was a bad idea. Cookies from scratch is just a lot better. Look at that. So good. Also some white chocolate is because you know, why not? I like the combination, it's quite nice. Oh my god, if you could smell this. Oh my god. Why don't they have cool? Well, what? Am I getting possessed? Now get your trays and we're gonna line them up. Just wondering, why has no one invented, there probably is, I'm gonna look this up. Why has no one invented a cookie perfume? You know what I mean? Like, cookies are good. And no one's even bothered to invent a cookie perfume. Like, I find that a little just bit, a little bit sad. I reckon we need a cookie perfume somewhere out here in the world. I'm gonna be the first to create it. Gonna give you a real nice, pretty layout of me laying these bad boys. It's a really crucial step. I know how much this is really beautiful. <laughs> Got my cookie game. We're gonna start rolling it, guys. It's the best part about like these cookies, or like cookies in general, you don't roll them in a ball. No one says roll them in a ball, but don't. You just pop them all on, like to say. Have a They're kind of falling apart. And in case you oh, didn't. So I attempted to make one giant cook stuff, but I'm not going to. Jolly Christmas. Pop these creations in the oven. Oh my god, that's a bit hot. Decorate. We had like none of this stuff at home, so I was like, for this video, I need to go out of my way. And these, okay, no one would even know, but these, these aren't just markers that you pick up at your local craft store, girl. They're edible markers. Now, I don't know how that works. I feel like I'm kind of scared to try it. I don't know, are they trustworthy? I don't know, but it looks a little special. There's my glitter. <laughs> had a little. They're actually going pretty good, I must say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie dokie, so. Gonna give the cookies a little bit more time to, you know, settle, all that fun stuff. So, maybe like another three minutes. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. And there's a little button on the edge of the hat. Ah! Oh, switches right. on. On. And then, then there's a little switch on the... I'm so happy right now. This is the best thing that's happened to me. Oh. 
This is intense. For a minute, I kind of forgot I was making cookies. They're a little crispy, but they're good. Like, mm. probably shouldn't have left them in the oven, honestly, for that long. Mm. My cookie's nice and crunchy because I know people love soft cookies. I do, but like, I like the crunchy cookie, the brown, the crispy, the fresh cookie. Let's get decorating. Really fat lot, so I mean, not to get too, you know, carry high pants. I think I'll do a Santa Claus gone bad. I don't look like Santa, but you leave this out for Santa, you just go. I thought you were feeling a bit edgy today, so I made you an edgy Santa hat. I'm gonna add some sprinkles on his beard because Santa's fancy like that. So far, so good. A nice close up of this. Don't really know how I feel about this. I feel like I should have not used black icing, but like the black icing, I was like, is that even a thing? I didn't even know you could get black icing until I got there. So then I got there and yeah, I brought the black icing. Angle vlog up here. Um, definitely not a clone, but it's close. I worked with what I had. Um, Santa's a bit sad. I might switch over the, the tip here to get on a crisp. Actually, like the best invention ever. Whoever came up with this icing, squeezing, not having to make your own type of vibe. I like it. I'm gonna make like a mad Santa because I feel like Santa would be a little bit mad after what we've done today. Your face. Oh, that smells a bit poisonous. Beautiful. Really saved the best for last. The next stage is to take this off to yonder. Um, okay. Little Chay of Goodies Santa Claus. We're gonna leave him a photo of us. Sorry, Randy's, you can go there like the grass outside there. So cute. Oh, how cute is that? For all you guys that waited and watched this whole video, I have a gift. Thanks for watching. Take a cookie, leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Merry Christmas and have a great Christmas. Spend it with your family, friends, pets, yourself, whoever you want to spend it with. Just have a really great Christmas.